Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we will see an explosion created entirely in Grasshopper. At the end of, the three, of these three tutorials we will obtain something like this. Um, first of all, before starting, I want to sorry for uh, my English that is terrible and for my Italian accent that is terrible too. But uh, I hope you enjoy the definition and the 3D modeling more than my spoken language. The model is entirely created on Grasshopper, but uh, we need also of uh, uh, the plugin Vuray. Uh, you can download this plugin from the Chaos Group uh, uh, website and you can try it for uh, one month. And uh, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, uh, tell me, hit. And um, please subscribe to my channel if you want to uh, see further videos about animation and uh, in general about 3D modeling and uh, parametrical modeling. Now we are going to animate the explosion. So first of all we have we need a timeline. So we create Vuray render Vuray Vuray timeline. Timeline is like a timeline of uh, other 3D 3D applications. The difference is um, that uh, you can use the number of the frames to uh, interact with your definition. So um, here I can have the fraction of uh, that is a number comp uh, is a value in the range of zero to one that can that uh, uh, change with the with the time. For example, if I am here with the time, so if I am uh, at uh, half the frames, if I uh, if I am at uh, at uh, 15 frames, what happen? The, the fraction values is uh, uh, it will be 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay, and. Uh, when I am at the zero frame, the fraction will be zero. When I am at the one, uh, at the last position, the fra the fraction will be one. So we will use this um, kind of values to uh, drive our definition. Now I will explain to you how. Okay. First of all, we have to create a, an explosion. So I have to define a vector. Um, at the base at the, at, of the explosion. Uh, how, how this part of the model has to move? The concept is create a vector to connect the center of the geometry, the principal geometry of the sphere, so uh, to the center of uh, each one of these uh, of these solids. So we create a vector vector between two points. And we, uh, the first point will be the center of the sphere. That was that was this point. The other, oh, sorry, this point. The other center are the center of the geometries. So, of the geometries uh, we create before of the B reps. So to 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 find the center of a volume. We have to apply the component volume. We connect the geometry to G and uh, the volume to uh, and the C point that, that is the centroid of the geometry to the B. This is the vector we need. It is with the, the vector between the center of the sphere and the center of uh, each one of these B reps. And uh, the list is is uh, is not only a vector, but it's a list of vectors. Now we want to move the B rep um, in the di direction of the these vectors. Each B rep 
uh, has to move in the direction of its own vector. We have 71 vector and we have 71 uh, bereps, so we will uh, the operation will work. So uh, we apply move and we connect the geometry to the vectors. Okay, it is moving. It is moving, but the uh, for for uh, the moment the amount of the vector is not related to the animation so we have to relate it, this vector to the animation to do it to do it is very easily easy because uh, we have to amplify this movement by the fraction values so we have to multiply the fraction values for the uh, with uh, the uh, vector value and this is um, the in R we have the in R we have the uh, amplified vector and we uh, link this amplified vector to the T. So let's let's see how, how uh, it uh, works when we um, go to the timeline and we uh, click play. Okay, we have to, to disable some preview to do it, but uh, uh, we we can uh, we can see it is working well. We come back to Grasshopper. We um, disable some previews. We only want to to see the, what what is it here. What how does the geometry move? So we select all. We uh, spacebar disable preview. Okay, we we only want to see what uh, how is moving this. So we come back to the timeline. We uh, click play. Okay, we click play and see what happened. Okay, I think the animation is going well. It's time to render, but first we have to connect the timeline to the timeline render, to the timeline on the render component. Then we select where we want to see the animation. So we select a folder where to store the output images. Set one part. And uh, I decide to put here into explosion. I create an, uh, a folder which name is explosion, and I call it Proba. It's a uh, first attempt, and save. Okay. Now I go to render, and I stop the uh, previous rendering it was doing and I uh, click render animation and, w and see what happened I want it is evaluating it is uh, uh, evaluating frame and uh, and uh, at the same time is moving geometry depending on what we create before now uh, somewhere it should appear my equa my here we are my show buffer who explain who is evaluating the movement but we we see that it doesn't move because we we cre i create uh, some mix mistakes. So stop render. What happened? Uh, this geometry that I want to render is not assigned to the material. You remember, uh, there there still uh, is the last uh, link we made before. But now we have to, to uh, we have to render this geometry, not the previous one. So we come back to render and uh, we uh, put 
render and uh, we link this this move with the geometry and then we uh, go to render animation and now it should work let's see okay now it's working now it's uh, evaluating the all the frames of the animation and how can you see now is uh, rendering the correct uh, model now uh, we have seen that uh, the explosion is working well but uh, not so much uh, the the parts remain too uh, too next the the starting geometry i want uh, mm, i want that the explosion uh, to be amazing and so what i want to do is uh, amplify uh, the uh, movement to do this i put another multiplication here and uh, i create a, an amplifier uh, amplifier um, of the power of the explosion so uh, i want uh, that uh, the uh, the elements move uh, 10 times more uh, far far than before so we here i have the vector I multiply the intensity of the vector and uh, I put the vector on a T. Now I go back to a render, uh, to the render component and uh, with the right click uh, I put render, I click on render animation, now it's working um, and uh, let's see what happened. Yes, I think that uh, we are going better than before. That's properly the kind of animation I wanted before. Okay, that's all for today, but uh, if you want to know something more about animation in Grasshopper you can follow my um, my uh, following tutorial and uh, sorry uh, for my English is very bad uh, I hope you enjoyed the same